Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another episode of your Nashville Predators franchise mode. And in the last one, we went through the entire regular season. Now, you should have seen that earlier today. Well, here we are for the entire postseason. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it, boys. Let's see. What is, what are the, uh, what, are, what, are, what are the Colorado Avalanche rocking with over there, huh? What do they got, huh? Landis Cog, McKinnon, Rantanen. That, that's pretty good. I can't say much more than that. That's just, that's pretty good. Um, Newhook, Jost, and Burakovsky, that's solid. Uh, Dow Cole, Bulkvist, and Belay. Kind of lets him down. O'Connor, Sundquist, and Pierlini. Not ideal. I think that our bottom six is better. Uh, I think that their top six is probably better, though. Defense, uh, they probably win top pair just because of Kale McCarr. But, I mean, Roman Yossi is right there. Uh, I don't know. It's it's close. It's close. I think we win second. Eh, yeah, we win second pair. And they win third pair because, well, it's about a tie for third pair because Taze is the best one, but Jack Johnson's dreadful um in goal it's probably going to be even if we're being honest you know we don't really know what we're rolling with in here um so i think based off of everything that i've seen i think that we're going to roll with Askarov to start and we're going to have uc soros be the backup but drieger is there if we need him he, he is and lambert is up to an 88 what a man what a man Let's go. Okay. Uh, goalies here. Drieger, we're going to go Askarov to start. Chris Drieger, you're going to step out for UC Saros. Okay. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into game number one. And I believe this is at the Bridgestone Arena. Yeah, it is. Perfect. At home, Bridgestone Arena. Let's go, boys. Let's take it to them. All right. Let's, let's show them what, what it's like to play hockey. All right. First period here. 3-1, to one, Cooley, Konechny, or Konechny, and Tomasino. McKinnon gets one back for him. Second period here. They get one back with Landis Cog. All right, we just we got to hold it here. Lambert, there we go. Puts another one up for us. Exactly what you want to see. English. Um, <laughs> that's ideal. We'll put it that way. Um, come on, boys. Five minutes, four. Three, two, one, and we're out of here. Four to two victors. We take game one. Okay, that's uh, that's huge because at the end of the day, this not, um, this Colorado team, they're dangerous. They are. They're very dangerous, and we have to respect that. You know, that you can't do a whole lot more to respect that than take some early games from them. Jesus Christ, I don't know why I'm yawning. First period. Nashville, let's go. Lucic, add a kid. Second period. 3-1, to one. Forsberg and Konechny score. Dow Cole gets one back for them. All right, boys, again, kill this penalty. Come on. There we go. Again, we got just one period here that we, we need to... Okay, McKinnon gets a goal. Uh, unideal? Not, not ideal? We get one back. Thank you, Forsberg. Come on. Come on. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5... Oh, they get one through Sunquist. Three, two, one. They tie it up. Oh, Lord. McKinnon, why? Why do you have to do this? Nope, nope, nope. There we go. CPU game. All right. Why do you have to do this to me, McKinnon? Why do you have to do this to me? Like, I, I'm, I've had a rough couple days, you know, like, I, like I said, I'm a Chiefs fan, I said that last one, I believe, we, we had a big weekend, but that really stressed me out, you know, now we're having to go through this, like, I don't know that my heart can take it, I, I really don't, I just, oh, come on, can, can we load sometime this century, though, please, like, I get that I have the old Xbox, but that's, like, that's not necessary, it's not necessary to take an hour and a half to load still. Okay, here we go. Face off. Kunin wins it. Back to Fabro. Fabro finds Konechny. Connect, oh, it's picked off by Renton. Come on, Yossi. Come on, Yossi. Okay, good play. Good play. Askarov, I believe that is in goal. I, ooh, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to check, actually. 
Rantanen, what a save. I wish that we were at the bottom, though, so I could actually see who's in goal. Knesny, what are you doing? Oh, it is Askarov, which is nice. But, Lord, the def there. I'm fairly certain that I have deck chairs that are more defensively aware than what the AI is right here. This is just, this is so frustrating and so sad to watch. Come on. Kunin gets the face off. Back to Yossi. Over to Konechny. Oh my lord, he just got... Uh, might be able to file charges on that. That was terrible. That, I'm fairly certain that was a hate crime. Fabro gets pinned to the wall after the puck's away. That's called interference there for all of you young hockey fans out there. Uh, Kuhn in here with it. Skating it in. Dishes. Knesny can't shoot it. Fabro gets through but misses the net. Kunin, uh, you got to do something with it, dude. You got to. Oh, Lord. Jost, good hit there by Fabro. Oh, uh, no, you let him get position. Saved by Askarov. Come on. Okay, Tomasino with it now. Oh, gets crushed. I, I don't even know how to explain what I just watched there. That was it was such a just strange little little just lack of move, I guess. Like yeah, let me just skate let me just skate directly at the defender until he does something. I'm sure that's going to go extremely well for me. Romanov with it here now. Skating through the neutral zone. Enters Tomasino. Stops. Ooh, tries to feed one back door to Lambert, but it doesn't quite get through. It's up to Byron, but Byron. Um, Byram was who I was trying to say there, but Lambert skates with it now. Over to Lucic. Rips Brassois with the save, though. The teams are going back and forth for sure. I've, I'm feeling really confident in Askarov, honestly. He's looked really good from what we've seen. Our third line out here with Logan Cooley, uh, Javon Clark, and Savoie. We lose a faceoff. It's up to Sammy Blay in the neutral zone. Enters the zone. Tries to dump it, but he's hit. Ooh, comes back for the second time on the hit there with another big one there. Savoie over to Cooley. Cooley loses it to the back check. Savoie collects. Skates it in. Dumps it. Okay. Javon Clark there in the corner, I believe. And nothing comes of it. Logan Cooley able to get him back, though. Able to pin him. Javon Clark and he working very well on the, uh, on the four check there. It's up to Savoie. Dish across to Clark, back to Cooley. Cooley's hit. Oh, Lord. And we lose possession in the offensive zone. Because why would we keep it? Because goals are overrated. Cahoon. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, Valamaki here. Finds Johansson. Oh, God. Rojo's out there. Valamaki. It's up to Duchesne. Come on, Duchesne. Come on. Ooh, the one-time try there with Cahoon. That would have been nice, but it doesn't quite work out for them. It's up to Sammy Blay in the neutral zone. Can someone please... Okay, thank God, Askarov. Romanov with it now. Duchesne, back to Valimaki, up to Cahoon. Oh, tries to get it across to Rojo, doesn't quite get through. Rojo, though. Oh, beautiful forecheck, but he can't quite get it. Oh, that's frustrating. Get over there. Please, no. It's back to Valimaki, who finds Duchesne. Duchesne, skating. Back to Rohan Johansson, who is saved. <laughs> Come on. Get over there. Get on Pierlini. Come on. Oh, good, good play there. Zub. Oh, Lord, no. Power play. Power play. Interference. Oh, this is huge. This is huge. This is the chance we need. We just have to capitalize. Come on, boys. Come on. Get that first unit out there. Let's go Lambert here on the faceoff. Come on, buddy. Wins it. Fabro. Back to Lucic. Over to Konesny. Skates in. Lambert with it. They essentially hand it to Brossois. They, they skate it into him and go, here, cover the puck. Again, 
really questioning the offensive strategy and know-how there, but uh, we, we move. We move on. Not really. We kind of just hate them for the rest of our lives. That's normally what happens anyway. Um, connecting. Oh, almost to Forsberg. Almost gets the rebound there. But almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. However, they clear the puck into their own bench. I I feel like that's a penalty normally for delay a game, but I could be wrong because it was in the defensive zone. Lucic, Brassois save though. And McCarr clears. Perfect. God. Come on, Fabro. You're the quarterback here. Make something happen. Lambert up to Konechny. Across to Forsberg with a little move that doesn't work. Oh, Lord. Can, we can't even keep possession in there. Come on. Forsberg. Please, thank you. Okay. Oh. oh it, it just, uh. Okay, Fabro. Back to Forsberg. Who rips in? It doesn't go anywhere. Connect me. Over to Forsberg. Gets nothing out of it. Cool. Cool. Oh, frustration. Connect me. Thirty six seconds, well eleven seconds is really what's important here. Matthew Savoy, if you win this face off and score us a goal, I will buy a jersey of whoever you get drafted by. You don't though, so it's gonna be a no from me, dog. Hate to break it to you. Alright, well that was uh that was a frustrating period. And I understand that it's still going on, but, like, no, it was a frustrating period nonetheless. Like, nothing changes that, you know? But, uh... All right. <laughs> Come on, just please, please, boys. Do us all a solid. Finish this game out. Okay, oh, Forsberg. Let's go, let's go. Ooh, Lambert, one timer doesn't work. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. And they clear it. I like. I I swear to God, I thought that was a penalty. I I guess I'm wrong, but like, I don't know. I feel like that's always been a penalty growing up. I could be wrong, but again, I feel like that's true. Lucic rips for Swa saves, and it's gonna get cleared here by the abysmal Jack Johnson. Sorry, he dished it off to someone else to clear because he, was, he wasn't even good enough to do that. You know, couldn't even do that one for himself. Come on. Okay, good four check here. Good four check. Can we stay with it? Not really. Instead, our players pull a Philadelphia Flyers and back off into the 1 3 1. Okay, Fabro, good, Forsberg. Find him across ice there. Find him into the slot. No, okay. That's cool. You can just skate, I guess. Yeah, see, this is what happens when you skate it that much. And he gets the puck back, so absolutely nothing was learned. Oh, I'm starting to understand what it was like to coach me in high school. <laughs> Come on, Pirlini. Get to him. Get to him. Lucic, perfect. Slide it up to him. Good. Lambert, make it. Make it happen here. Forsberg. You were that dude. No. You were that dude. You were. And then you weren't. And I got really depressed. Completely unrelated. <laughs> um, anyways, though, guys. Back to it. Back to it here. Uh, they, I guess, just don't have a right wing playing. That's cool. That, that'd be real nice of them to just decide not to play with a right wing. I guess they're too overpowered if they do. Kunin with it now. Oh, good, good four check. Come on, stay on him. Oh, no, don't turn around. You could have had the puck and probably a breakaway if you just wouldn't have stopped. Yossi. Okay, Savoie. Over to Forsberg. Forsberg, who is likely dead at this point. Savoie with the toe drag. Loses it to Landeskog. Come 
on, get to get on him, get on him. Oh no, okay. Save Askarov there, Kunin. It's up to Savoy. Dumps, and it's out of play. Oh lord, please, dude. There's no way they're gonna make me sit through three overtimes of this, right? There's no way. Why does that say overtime four and then it switches to overtime two? Yossi over Clark. Cooley. Cooley, where are you shooting? If you shoot blocker side there, you have yourself a goal and we're, we're running away talking about what a great player you are. Instead, I'm going to probably want to trade you for that. Not actually, but like it's getting to the point where if you do it again, I might. Okay, good poke. Oh, the forecheck. I like the fact that the forecheck is aggressive, but they give up too soon. Clark. No, okay. Savoie. Okay, come on in. Finds Cooley. Cooley tries to rip. Oh, gets another one that looks like it hit off the post. I could be wrong, though. Might have been a save. Cooley with the forecheck. A weak backhand. Savoie gets hit in the corner. And it's over to Taze, who finds Blay. Come on, get to him. Oh, Lord. Romanov. Askarov with the save, Romanov with the clear. And, yeah, let me just skate around in a circle. Yeah, that, that's going to work great, don't you think? Clark, finally. Jesus Christ, this is absolutely horrific to watch. Can we thank you? Okay, Tomasino. Yep, Romanov. That's fine. That's fine. Lambert, can you get it out for me, please? Good. Finds Tomasino. He finds space to rip. But unfortunately, oh, there, I guess I was removed from the party. That's cool. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. New hook here. Come on. Valimaki. Romanov, find him wide. Why didn't you go wide? Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. I'm okay. And Lucic just gets murdered. Yeah, that, that's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally understandable. Lambert skates it in. Picks his head up. Finds Lucic, whose who shot gets blocked. I'm going to cry. I'm physically going to cry. I I don't even know what to say. Like, how does that pass get through? Oh, my Lord, dude. Askarov is doing well. but And the, the defense does a good job of clearing it for him. But, like, they, they just let them get into really good positions all the time. And as I say that, we get a one-timer that just gets, you know, saved like it's nonchalant. Like, you know, Brassois is suddenly, <laughs> he's suddenly Vasilevsky. Yeah, that's cool. You know, I've heard of player development, but like, I don't think it works that way. Good save there from Askarov, who's able to get the rebound out of there too. Hayek skating with it, finds Zub. Oh, come on. McKinnon. Hayek over to Zub. Okay. Come on. Forsberg. Ooh, reverse hit there. Beautiful. Oh, oh, oh my lord, dude. You. They pass when they shouldn't pass. They shoot when they shouldn't shoot. Zub. Okay. This has got to be Hayek's, right? Come on. Make something, please. Zub. Zub. Please. Zub. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go, let's see, my toaster is waterproof now, so I can't do that. Jesus Christ. This is absolutely a dreadful, this is absolutely painful to watch. It's like watching, like, a kindergarten class have a competition of which kid can eat the most crayons. Like, that's, that's the level of hockey that we're watching right now, and it's so frustrating. Like, you're great athletes. I'm sure you're going to be something, 
you know, but y right now you're showing the mental capacity of the kid who eats crayons. Well, the kids who eat crayons, because both of you are doing it. Okay, finally a decent defensive play. It's not just, oh yeah, let me just murder this man. You know, and I just, I can't compliment people because the second I compliment them, they go, the very next play, they go out and they go, hmm, what is the worst thing that I could do in this situation? And and that, I mean, that's a simple pass. That is a simple pass. And it's an NHL team that just can't do it, huh? Okay, yeah, that, that makes total sense. Yeah, th thanks EA. You know, EA Sports, it's barely a game. Lord. Have mercy on us all. Jesus. Come on. Fabro, do something with it. No? Okay, we're just not going to backhand it up the wall like we should have. That's cool. Yeah, instead we're going to let Miko Rantanen walk into the slot, right, and rip one. You showed the mental capacity of the kids who choke on Legos. That is the mental, that is the absolute mental state of Dante Fabro on that play. And who is that with him? 59, 59, 59, 59. Is that Yossi? I think that's Yossi. If that's Yossi, dude, first of all, why are you both in the corner? That terrible positional awareness. Okay, and then on top of that, Fabro literally just can't let him get onto his forehand. Like, it it's not hard. You know, the, the, the IQ should be there. And I... At this point, I'm starting to think it might be that EA doesn't have the hockey IQ. Like, you can't program hockey IQ when you don't have it. So I'm starting to think that that might be what it is. Because, frankly, this is just getting ridiculous. Alright, on to the next one. Hopefully we're nowhere near the Crayola factory. Instead, we're in Denver at the Ball Arena. I, believe, I thought this was the Pepsi Arena, but... Dang, I guess that must have been changed. First period here, three nothing because why wouldn't it be? You know, second period one to four. You know, just to give us a little bit of hope. And uh, this third period is going to be intensely boring as neither team is likely going to score, and it's going to end four to one. I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry if I you know I'm killing the vibes or whatever the the kids say nowadays, but like. Oh, look at that. We got a pity goal and the answer right back, so it doesn't even matter. Um, this game, dude, th this game sucks all the fun out of it. Like, I cannot physically understand how EA does this and then thinks, yeah, that's a product that is definitely, you know, a AAA title. Like, no. If it was a AAA title, then maybe they, the players would have the smallest bit of hockey IQ, as in the first period of the next game, we have a total of five shots. Five. A singular hand's worth. Second period. Oh, we tie it up. It's now 15 to 25 on shots. Oh, but Jack Johnson, the guy who I called trash, you know, the worst player on their roster, yeah, scores a goal. This man has not been relevant since his line mate was Drew Doughty. Like, what are we doing here? Why is he on the roster? Why is he scoring goals? Like, we got to go with someone other than Askarov now. We have to. You know, like that that much has been shown without a doubt. You know, let's, let's see if Drieger can do better. Because Saros, I doubt, will. Like, I, I don't even know what to say. Like, th this team just, this team irritates me in ways that I think are almost impressive because they're new ways. Like, I would have thought with all of the frustrating things that EA does to me, like, I would have thought that this, you know, we, we would find the limit. But no, no, they bring out new and exciting ways to disappoint me and frustrate me every year. First period. 
one nothing because why wouldn't it be? Drieger allows a goal to Landeskog. Second period, two nothing. Landeskog again, and in the third, he's going to get his hat trick. Calling it now, and we might score a goal with like mm, four minutes left, maybe. Oh, look at that! On cue. On cue. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. I, I don't, you know. I, <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. If you somehow enjoyed listening to me rant about how terrible EA is and then call out the exact scripting of their game, uh, please leave a like, you know, leave a comment, subscribe, maybe we'll actually get some decent voodoo next time. But like I said, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, do all that stuff, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace out and goodbye.